that's him. Hey, look, baby, look, baby, look, baby. I see the tail lights. <sighs> They're in orange. Look at the gauges. They're in orange. Um, well, I guess there's nothing to it but to put it in gear and go for a drive. Everybody ready? Ready, Maddox? Yeah. Well, here we go. up the windows. Oh yeah, they are tinted. Look at that. Sold. <laughs> to you, babe. Sold to you. Thanks to this guy. A lot of hard work. Where'd we guy. get it from? We got this from Ford of Kendall in Miami. And uh, we live in Baxley, Georgia. So that guy had a pretty long haul to go get it and bring it to us. And this guy right here. There he is, the man with the plan. He delivered it on time. Very punctual. Oh, yeah. Oh, huh. yeah. Now, I've driven Mustangs. Um, I've not driven a Mustang from 2018 or higher. This is a 2020. We bought this car sight unseen, no test drive. So this is the first time? This is our very first drive, I guess you could call it, it's a bull man, I'm speaking. <laughs> drive, test drive, whatever you want to call it. In <clears throat> the, uh, what is it, S550 chassis, 2018 and above, EcoBoost Mustang. And it's phenomenal already. I mean, of course, I have to say that, I bought it. But, uh... You could have refused it if you wanted to. I could have refused it. But I don't think I will. Nope. I forgot the phone. <laughs> what, Maddox? I forgot my phone. It's okay. How is it back there? Is it terrible? Good. Yes. Uh, Thumbs up? Uh, can I help, princess? Yes. Oh, hang in there, princess. So let's see. We're in 10th gear. I guess I should run you through it. This is a 2020. EcoBoost Mustang with the pony package, which I believe is mostly visual. Uh, we've got the uh, Ford Smart and Safe package, which gives us adaptive cruise control, anti-collision protection, um, and a discount on your insurance. It's also got the enhanced security, which gives us a lockable glove box 
Go. And I don't know what else. Uh, it's a 201A package, which means it's a premium with the LED gauges that you saw earlier that were done up in orange and it gives us navigation that is native uh, sync 3 with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto premium sound system but it's not the highest level of sound system uh, Bang & Olufsen probably butchered that but that's a 9 speaker stereo I believe this is an 8 um, it should have uh, rain sensing wipers, <laughs> automatic adjust headlights with high beam and low beam, um, and all kind of little high tech goodies that I don't know how to use or don't know how to appreciate. We also have these little uh, carbon fiber dealios that the previous owner stuck on here and these little pieces. And I didn't think I was going to like it, but now that I see it, I think I do. Those are available at AmericanMuscle.com, which is a website that specializes in Mustangs of all years. Uh, a lot of their trinketry is a little cheap, but this looks okay. I like this. Maybe when we have actual full sun, I won't, but who knows. Well, I tell you what, guys, as far as first test drives go, I am completely satisfied. Oh, another feature. This is going to have to be cut and broke up. So okay. Bad. But, um... Uh, we also had the option for the Recaro seats. Whoever bought this car paid for these. These are a $1,950 option, I believe. Recaro seats, uh, they get increased bolstering, fixed headrest, and they've got little dashes here for a five-point racing harness, if that's your bag. But they're full manual, which means they're lighter. That means you go faster at the drag strip which is a good thing, because I do plan on racing this at least some. Um, it does not have the performance pack, which is a little odd, because you would think one that, you know, they sprung for the racing seats, they would get the performance package also, which gives you that 3.55 uh, torsion differential and uh, special chassis tuning and stuff like that. I'm, I'm assuming he bought these mainly for the look. And I have to tell you, they look great. They feel now, good too. They do feel good. They're very comfortable. And this car has a lot of spunk, doesn't it? And you know, I don't mind the interior noise. Uh, there are a lot of people that say that pumped up volume um, that's fake. There is fake engine noise. It comes through the speakers to make the engine sound better. I think uh, Hot Rod back there is what he says. Do what, babe? I think I like this car. <laughs> you do? Uh, Me too, oh, baby. I think we do too, buddy. Rose. Thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up all around. Bang. So this car is super nice and very completely nice. And you know what I like the best? What do you like the best? The race modes. It's a yeah. race of car? Uh, the race thing. Yeah? Yeah, so I like this car. Good. Comfort steering. Out of the mouth of babes. From the mouths of babes comes truth, right? That's right. Mommy, I want some noodles. Okay, buddy. I think we can handle that. Yeah, you know I love noodles. <laughs> you do, don't you, buddy? Where were we at with the Ricardo? Were we still on the Ricardo seats? Um, I think we were. Um, we were on the comfort level. They yeah. are very comfortable. I don't think I'm going to have an issue, and I have lower back trouble. Yeah. Um, but so far, I'm not missing the lumbar um, position. Like I say, I've just got in it. I've lowered it all the way to the floor, which I like a low seating position, so I've got my legs stuck out. Um, I've adjusted my distance to the dead pedal for bracing, and I can reach everything just fine. I don't know if anybody's mentioned this, and they probably have looked over it because they drive them all the time, but this is a fully adjustable steering column, which means it cool. adjusts for telescoping and up and down. And I have stubby arms, so one that doesn't telescope really annoys me. 
because I have to sit so close to the entire dashboard. It makes you feel really cramped. Well, I can bring this steering wheel to me. My arms are nice and relaxed. Everything is a good distance away from me, so I've got plenty of room in here. Got plenty of headroom. Um, one thing that you do have to deal with with the Recaro seats, and this might be a breaker for some people, if you look down here, you've got two blanks where there should be a heated and cooled seat option for the 201A uh, premium package. I believe that comes in the regular premium package too because they come with ventilated leather bucket seats, which a lot of people love, and we probably would have thought they were fine too. You also miss the uh, electric memory seating, like one, two, and three for different drivers. Why they think three people are going to drive one car, I have no idea, but they have that for an option anyway. Uh, for my purposes, I think the Recaro seats are bitching and uh, not dissatisfied in the least. Like I say, I didn't test drive any of the other seats. This is the first time I'm sitting in these. I haven't sat in any of the other ones. And uh, I don't think I'll ever need to. Well, that about wraps that up. Anybody else got anything to say so far? What you want to say, Maddox? Mm -hmm. Do you love it? Yeah. Good. I love it. Alright. You know why you're lucky? Because you got a super nice car. <laughs>